I'm not sure if you're hearing that, right? There's a fight going on in the Savannah, which is right down there. So, depending on if you come here around carnival time, or probably when they have some kind of concert going on in the Savannah, you will hear it clearly right here. What's up, my Trinbago vibe peeps? Welcome to another edition of Trin Bagel Vibes. In this one, we are here at the Hilton Hotel here in Trinidad and Tobago. You know, we're going to have a little sushi. We're going to try out the breakfast buffet. We're going to check out the rooms here. So stick around, it's going to be a good one. And yeah, did you know, right? Before we jump into this, this hotel has opened its doors since our independence, since, yes, 19, whoo, like that, but since 1962, Hilton has opened right here in Trinidad and Tobago. That's amazing. I mean, they went through some refurbishment over the past years. So stick around. This is going to be a good one. Trindigo vibes. Let's do this. The Hilton. One of the few upside down hotels in the world. Yeah. There we go. Wow, this is the place to be for the long weekend, boy. The car park ram out at the moment. Now we're gonna check in. Yeah. Real people here while yes. we wait. So no wonder the car park ram out. <laughs> Guess car park. Thank you. I couldn't even get a park. park, park. Way down close to the guard road. As they say, Hilton GT. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and it rained today and but the place still hot. Why you feeling real warm and real twitching? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah when it is humid. Yeah. yeah. Alright, since we're in the lobby, let me just show you all one of the restaurants here and a quick shop kind of salmon tree restaurant and bar is there while fresh connections is there <laughs> anywho let's head to our room there we go something to note don't have the card next to your phone it deactivates it tips and tricks you know that's how we do it here in trimbago vibes yep all rooms are beneath the lobby hence upside down hotel you know it's interesting hilton is probably one of the oldest surviving hotels we have here on the island and when I mean, it probably is not the oldest, but it's one off, and it's still, you know, have prices comparable to other newer hotels here. So it's amazing, and like, they always have a crowd, especially on long weekends. This is dark. This switches, yes. All right, so this is where we staying. This is the bedroom. All right, to the side of the TV, have a cuisine art coffee maker, and it has a nice selection of tea well not really nice selection it's english breakfast and chamomile but they do have a nice selection of coffee here and this is a first it's not a refrigerator but a chiller and trust me it gets the job done all right moving on there's a normal seat desk this it from the next angle yep what's this for storage Okay, you've got a safe, and of course, the bathroom. There we go. Toilet, normal glass shower, sink. Hey, y'all. Yeah, we're in Hilton, so, and this is one of the rooms. <sighs> I mean, it's a little dated, but see what? It is what we expect. From the Hilton here in Trinidad and Tobago. Yeah. So, yeah, what are you gonna do? Now, it has some nice artwork. We have a little ice bucket, some glasses, two small water, and yeah. And let's head outside. Ooh. A little balcony showing bush. That's the walkway, will take you down to the Savannah. Yeah, so you just walk down from there and you swing this way you head towards the queen's park savannah now of course right this could also be said for like if you're staying by the bricks hotel so apart from you know coming down to do a workout down around the savannah right you head that way you will find a food court in the night plus it has a nice coffee shop java nation for some bubble tea right down the street in nib building which is that one right there up that side you'll find the president's house you'll find the botanical gardens you can take a stroll in one of the oldest 
botanical gardens there's also the magnificent seven up on that side if you continue to walk down that side and yeah and of course that way will take you to queen's hall where you could take in a show as well so those are just a few other things you can do if you are staying at the hotel everything else or every other stuff that you may see on this channel hit that like button thank you so much you'll have to get transport yeah mm -hmm. so that's what's nearby now we are going to floor six so normally you would have to swipe your card here to set the floor but it's not required to reach the sixth floor you know the executive floor at least from the lobby and that's because this is the way to the fitness center i won't lie it's like a walk a long walk just to reach the gym Right. Yeah, I don't think anybody will be in the gym, you know. I mean, if you had to come this far, I mean, if you're on the sixth floor here, yeah, it, may, it might make sense to probably go and check out the gym. I know, but oh okay, boy, we've been <laughs> walking a while now. <laughs> this is definitely your warm up before the gym workout. Finally, made it to Hilton's gym, and I was wrong. Peeps are working out here, and you know what? This is not too bad of a gym either. While it has ample car park, right? Just prepare for a little walk in here because we're on top of a hill. I'm walking down a hill at the moment. But yeah, you have this here, you have down there, you have up there. There's a guest car park where you've seen us parked earlier. And yeah, right now we're looking clear, but trust me, it was ram out not too long ago. All right, as night descends, let's head to Luce or Luce, the second restaurant here at the Hilton. And yeah, it's our anniversary. A shout out to my lovely wife. Wow. Yeah. I know, I'm a lucky dude. And this is a preview of their menu. Yup, this bill is gonna be high. By the way, you can also dine outside with a lovely view of the savannah and the mountains as well. But we didn't want to chance it as the weather was iffy. Alright, foodie time. So let's kick things off with some chicken pot stickers which were crunchy and nice one this was followed by a salmon sashimi i won't lie this is food art dread like this sashimi rose yeah it's raw fish the pink salmon and we also got octopus nigiri which is basically a poached octopus on a rice ball it kind of looks like chicken but it's more chewy and surprisingly good yeah and well with the salmon sashimi you know gotta get a little wasabi and a little soy on it first and you cannot go wrong with this it's just meaty deliciousness at least for me next up we had a roll called dancing eel and i cannot stress how super delicious eel is my trim bagel my peeps if you get a chance to try it try it trust me you won't regret it and we're ending the night off with this cheesecake which if i'm honest with you was was just all right so that was about it for loose restaurant all right so that was dinner and we'll see you all in the morning as we continue this review of hilton hotel yeah so we have breakfast in the morning to tackle right sleepy time morning morning peeps so we're off into the activity center yeah the pool interesting they have a table tennis board which seems to be uneven because you can see the pool of water there and they also have a connect for activity center thing there's also a washroom there and yeah so this here is the pool at the Hilton I'm not sure the opening hours of this pool because I came in here very early this morning I already have people and like I said later in the day it will get get more more, more crowded and like okay so that there is the entrance to the walk-in so as soon as you walk in you would see 
how the pool is and if you have ever visited if you have ever stayed here let me know in the comments below what was your experience it would be nice to know you know yeah might as well drop in the jacuzzi i'm done as well you know since i'm done here already the bar is not open yet because it's very early but yeah it's very hot inside here wow it's very hot but i guess that's what a jacuzzi is all about you're hearing all that bubbles it's almost like you're hearing steam you know and i'm not sure where this foam came from to be honest with you all but yeah after a while, they want to here for some tent. Mm -hmm. Really? Oh, nice. Oh, Alright, time for some breakfast. I wonder if this red piano is working. <laughs> yes, it is. Anywho, it's a buffet breakfast this morning at Herbs and Spices, the next restaurant here at the Hilton. The omelette chef was busy this morning, Dread, as there was a line of peeps for this item, and it's always nice to find some local stuff. Also, depending on the time you come here for breakfast, you may have to wait a while to get a table, especially if there are a lot of guests at the hotel. And it looks like my omelette is done. All right, thank you. All right, so breakfast. To be honest, that spread. I mean, they have a fruit station. They have the omelette line, which was rather long. I mean, that's the first spot I went to and for the amount of people because once again this is a long weekend this is the labor day weekend we are here at the hilton for a long weekend i just found their options to be like limited right it's also father's day weekend and they didn't really have any sausages you know that you would normally see that's how <laughs> bad no pun intended that i don't realize that yes 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 for, forgive me for that one i mean they had a nice spread of dessert items but if I'm honest with you all, only the buttermilk biscuit kind of thing was the best tasting thing there. Everything else felt kind of flat. Even the cake, while it was okay, it wasn't as good as I thought it could have been. But they're just my um, thoughts on this. Right. So, final thoughts on the Hilton. Well, the course per night. Initially, I called Ian to make the reservation and it went to the international line. I got a discount with Hilton Honors and not the local rate. So shout out to the receptionist who, when we went to check in, she gave us the local rate for one night, two people, breakfast included, right here in Port of Spain, Trinidad. And it was much cheaper than what I initially got at the Hilton Honors rate. Overall, the room, as I stated earlier, comfy. It is. A little dated. Some of these switches don't work <laughs> in the bathroom, especially. Yes, overall, I guess it's a good family spot. I mean, some of the rooms, depending on where it is, you have to walk some distance sometimes to reach your room. It is one of the few upside down hotels in the world. When I mean upside down, the lobby is on the basically the top floor, and all the rooms is at the base, and that's because it is located on the mountain, the northern range, on the off the Lady Young. So yeah, anything to add, my love? Well, for me, I, I mean, Hilton is huge. It's really big. It was like, it's like literally a maze <laughs> trying to figure out where it is you need to go. I feel because of its size, maybe that's why it might seem a little bit dated, especially, you know, with the carpets, you know, the rooms and everything like that. It is not the most modern place. But it's very comfortable, as you would have said. The breakfast for me, it was it was average in general it is a good i think a good basic hotel so that was the hilton hope you enjoyed this one and i'll see you all in the next one oh yeah don't forget to hit that subscribe button and that like button i'll go on later